Hello, SUMC. Rob here, reporting in for one of FUMC Music's Forensic Audio Analysis Labs with some more thoughts and another friendly check-in to continue to hope you're safe and well and to encourage you to stay in touch. For the past several Sundays particularly, I have noticed something something specific, and in that time, if you were a newcomer to our congregation, this feature of the service might have confused the heck out of you. So when do I applaud? Or rather, do I applaud for every piece of music that's not a hymn? And what may have contributed to this confusion is this. One of our choir offerings, which was neither bouncy, nor loud, nor rock and rolly, that got applause too. What is going on? This is church. Specifically, this is a church in the part of the United States wherein churchgoers are often referred to as the Frozen Chosen. This is not a rock concert. What's the deal? Take note, I just described those choir anthems as offerings. I didn't call them performances, and I never do. A worship service isn't a concert, and the choir and other assorted musicians are really offering up their art to God, although admittedly the congregation gets hit with it on its way by. And whatever effect the musical offering can have on a congregation is also all to the good. If this were a concert, we would have some idea as to the proper times to clap. At a musical comedy, it would be right after just about every piece of music. At a classical concert, it would be after each piece, except if a piece was one of several pieces in a multi-movement work like a symphony, then only after the last of a set. At a jazz club, people also clap in the middle of a tune after a soloist has completed her or his improvised solo. At a rock concert, very often, they'll clap any old time they want. In church? Ordinarily, I'd suggest that it's much more complicated than mere protocol. If it's one of those bouncy African-American spirituals or one of those more contemporary praise songs with drums and bass and guitar and such, then applause seems to work, either born of the song's emotion or its resemblance to pop music. If it's a quiet, pensive choir anthem, then maybe not. If it's a choir anthem that appeared to take lots of skill or was quite forceful at the end, then we tend toward the ingrained response of clapping. If it's a calm organ prelude, then both the lack of a dramatic stinger at the end and the selection's placement in the order of service may dictate no applause. So, the response to the music of the last month or so, again, may have made a new churchgoer a little flustered. Do I clap? Do I not? And nearly nobody wants to be the single person who claps and then looks around. Oops. Sometimes after a choir anthem finishes, it has sounded as if a single person clapped and then other people jumped in and clapped too, as if not wishing to let that first person feel embarrassed about clapping. So what's the rule? The rule is, short of buying a flashing applause sign, as was used in the days of live radio shows, all I can really say is, in church, please don't feel obligated to applaud, but if the spirit moves you, there are no set rules. There is just what seems appropriate in the moment. Didn't make that any easier, did I? Anyway, please check back here every Friday afternoon if you like for more video hellos here on SUMC's Facebook page or on the SUMC YouTube channel, Supper United Methodist Chur 2501. My email address will appear here momentarily. Please feel free to use it anytime for any reason. And as always, if you need to get in touch with any church staff people for any reason, please do during normal business hours because no matter how, no matter what, doing the work of the church together it's the big thing. Keep in touch, keep the faith, stay connected.